Scrap gods. I just spent an hour and 15 minutes, probably not even that much, tearing down a storm shutter off a condo on the ocean that was all corroded and rotten and, and tore it down and drove it over here and 73 can you see that 73 dollars and 75 cents total scrap total scrap life put your belt on peace what's up everybody tucker f upper here with another video uh Today I got some work I gotta do in Northfield and then I'm gonna head over to the shop and probably do some art and start a little construction on a couple things. So uh, yeah, just another video, another day in paradise. Beautiful day out, it's cold today, but beautiful nonetheless. Uh, I feel blessed. Again, once again, I feel blessed. Every day is a gift. So here we are, another day and another mission. You guys can come along and check out what I'm doing today. Uh, check out what I've been doing for the last couple months. I've been uploading a video one every day or every two days, every three days, but a few a week at least, if not more. So I got a ton of stuff on there now. It's getting a little out of hand, but I'm not gonna stop now. All right, so I just found this cardboard tube in the trash but I've been looking for stuff like this to send artwork in. It's kind of heavy, which is gonna add to the price, but it's so nice, like, you could never bend a print in this if I was sending a picture or a print or something like that. I got so much shit going on in my head at one time. It's like, like so perfect that I work for myself because I really never know what's gonna happen in my day. Like. If I had to be on a certain schedule, I'd never make it there. It's 10.30 already. I was planning on being here by like 9 at the latest. But I just started doing other shit. So like, every time I see something in the trash or see something I want to take a picture of or this or that, I just get sidetracked. It's so easily because I have so many ideas in my head that are just waiting to come into fruition. And slowly by slowly, it happens. But uh... Yeah, that's why the ultimate freedom here, boys. Living the dream one day at a time. All right, so here we are at the uh, job site that I got to do today. I'm thinking this light has to be installed, which is gonna be really, really gnarly, actually. Like, I think that's the post, maybe? I don't know about that, but I gotta get the key and then there's a list in here. But uh, there's a dog in here, too. But uh, yeah, this is what we're doing today. Install that and then whatever else is on the list, try and get that done too. But uh, I installed this tire swing, but damn, it looks low to the ground now. So maybe it needs to be fixed. I don't know. I think they can just twist it up and it'll get higher up. But uh, let's see, hopefully there's a key in here. Yeah, boy. So this light post has to be installed right there, which is gonna be insanely gnarly. The jumpies, dude. Full jumpies. The Ace hardware was not cutting it, so we had to come to the good old Home Depot corporate bullshit but they have everything you could ever need for doing fucking crazy construction they got mad sheds too I could live in one of those it's luxury bro bro that's luxury bro and guess what I found right here scrap sitting at Home Depot gotta get this to flatten the cement after I put it in the light in the bottom and then one bag of, this is the mix I think right here, I would claim. All right, got the supplies for this light. Woo, it's gonna be wild, this light though, dude, putting this thing in. But somebody's gotta do it, dude. All right, we got a catch 22 situation. The light works, that means the electric's fine. Everything else is going good, I was gonna Pour concrete in here around the bricks, bricks around it, 
and then I was gonna put these into the concrete with just this much facing out so it could just hold this thing down. Bam, right on the concrete, centered. But the one pane of glass got broken in shipping. So we can't do anything until I talk to the lady. So pretty much a brute operation all through and through. Always something going wrong. But you gotta learn to take the challenges as an opportunity. Otherwise you just get pissed. All right, so while working on the bat cave, this light fell and broke. It was a good light, really bright, but it's done now. So my plan today is to take this light and just wire it up there so we have just a light. I think it's pretty simply achievable. I'm just gonna turn off all the electric, get rid of this one, put the other one up. Should take like 15 minutes. This is actually a lot more wild than it looks. They wired all these through here into the next light. It's fucking insanity. So there's the light. Looks good. Turns on, turns off, provides light. Perfect. All right, doing some rearranging up in here to make it more comfortable for chilling out. I got this couch that I found. It's going in there. It's pretty nice, only one this piece and one other piece. Not the full thing, but I might get more tomorrow if it's looking good in there. Cause it's just in the trash. But yeah, this is looking luxury. Full pad, art studio, heavy crew. So this is how it's set up. New couch. It's actually extremely luxury in here. Very fortunate to have this area to hang out and make artwork. My dad's a total legend. All right, story time for the boys and for the girls. A couple of shout outs actually. O Panda Play on YouTube has been commenting on my videos for years and asking for a shout out. Here's your shout out. Uh, I just keep forgetting, I said I would do it months ago. Never did. Also to Anthony and Melissa who commented and said, "Where? what about the scrap goddesses out there? I'm sorry, I do say scrap gods and I don't include the women, but there are women out there that live that scrap life every day and go hard in the scrap life. I see them at the scrap yard and I know because people comment and uh, tell me that there's scrap goddesses out there. So shout out to you both. Thanks for watching. But uh, here we go. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard the story of the, uh, I think it was an African farmer who heard about uh, people stumbling upon diamond mines. So he uh, wanted to be rich and he went out, sold his farm and went out to the world in search of a diamond mine. And he basically searched his whole life and died penniless and drowned himself in a stream because he never actually found the diamond mine that he was searching for. And later on, the people that, the guy that purchased his farm, where he had lived his whole life, uh, was just walking down the meadow one day down the stream and he saw something glistening in the river. And he found one of the biggest diamonds in the world right in that stream and it turned out to be one of the most profitable diamond mines in history. And it was on the guy's property who sold it and sold that property in search of a diamond mine just like that. So he was, it was in his own backyard. So most people go out searching for something that they can find right there, right, right where they live, right in their own backyard. I feel like you are at this moment, like he says, standing in your own acres of diamonds. Life is what you make it. And every day, every day you're walking over diamonds to, try, to, to get to fucking like... I think every day people are walking over their own acres of diamonds. Uh, to see that they think that grass is going to be greener on the other side, but you're in it, dude, right now. You're in your own acres of diamonds every fucking minute of every day. Just being alive on this earth and able to experience the sunset and just nature and other people and your parents, your family, your friends, that's acres of diamonds. There's no monetary value that's going to be as important as that. So I think I'm going to go home to my 
mom's house right now and help her install a light so you guys will be able to check that out. Acres of diamonds, babies, acres of diamonds right here in my own backyard. Look at that sunset, baby. All right, just got a text from Chuck Barron, the legend. Uh, you guys have seen him in some other videos. He was with me when we took apart the boiler. But he just texted me and said there's metal on the street on uh, Colgate Ave right near his house. So I'm driving through Longport right now. Gonna hit it up, see what's going on there. Uh, scrap life, dude. Doesn't sleep. Creeping up on the scrap life right here, baby. Chuck Barron, hooking it up. Metal all over the fucking place. Metal for days, dude. What is that thing? That's actually cool. I got no need for it, but it's cool. Scrap life for sure, boys. Look at all this. I kind of wanted it, but... Here's... So, like, here's the bag is where I'm charcoal in it. Alright. Yeah, probably make it lighter. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just... Get this. Yeah, you got the wheel. Scrap life. Alright, so... Yeah, hit that sash on the scrap life and got a bunch of metal, a bunch of just a, like light iron, but uh, I got some aluminum and shit too while I was at it. And I got hooked the fuck up, Chuck Barron tip, paid off. And the lady just brought out like a fucking, uh, the cops look like they might be trying to come pull me over. But uh, yeah, she came out and brought a trash bag out and said, if you want, just put the fucking charcoal in here and then take the metal. So, another nice person that I met, living the scrap life, hooked it up and on to the next thing. Legendary status. How fucked is this light? What happened to it? It got blown off in the storm, but it's way too long. See how long it is? Let's make it half of that. Length. So now you're calling because the shots. Is, when the wind blows, well, I'm the one who is it off? Yeah, I'm the one who told Frank to make it that long. All right. Off, right? So I gotta get my get drill gone. All right, her light got my mom's light got torn down in a storm. This is the new one. Going back up, baby. All right, lights in. Got a little scrap out of the deal. What are you claiming? Awesome, I'm psyched. Right. I'm coming Is that a pro and job? The dogs and I couldn't say. Total pro, pro. Maybe more pro than fat. No, you can't claim that. A little extra scrap here on the side. Some crutches. All right, boys and girls, scrap goddesses and scrap gods. I'm signing off here for the night. Uh, I got nothing else left for footy. Going home. Just gonna shower and just go to sleep, pretty much watch some fucking Twilight Zone or something crazy but uh if you like my video today please subscribe to my YouTube channel I know it wasn't the most exciting video but I'm gonna put it out anyway because I want to just keep pushing the content and uh yeah just, just in the comments whatever you want to see if you want to see some special videos or whatever kind of videos on my channel that you'd like a lot 
I know the scrap videos are probably the most popular, but anything else, just put it in the comments and I'll try and get around to do more stuff like exploring or skating or something. Just let me know. So thank you guys for watching as always and just keep living that scrap life. Keep living the dream and just know you're in your own acre of diamonds. Acres of diamonds right now, baby. So you for the fucking legends.